Hey, Alex Gem family, how are we doing? Right, we're gonna go into another powerful workout. Now, I call this the one round workout, uh, just because it sounds really cool. Uh, really, you can do it several times if you wish. You can change the level of intensity based upon the resistance you wish to utilize, how heavy the weight is essentially. Um, we're gonna do many, many exercises back to back to back. There is no rest in between them, which is why, as you can tell, it's a relatively light weight. Now, uh, as my beginning round, I'm only doing 10 kg on each side. Now, I know you're thinking, wow, Alex, Mr. Muscles, that's, that's really, really light stuff. What's going on here? Um, you'll, you'll see soon enough. Now, we're gonna do all of these exercises with great form. We're aiming for between 12, uh, sorry, 10 to 12 reps per exercise. Um, it's one round because we're doing them, like I said, uh, one straight after the other sequentially. So the first three exercises are predominantly working on our legs and our glutes. Then we're gonna do one exercise predominantly for our back. Uh, then we're gonna do uh, a couple of arm base movements. And then we're gonna finish up with uh, two to three exercises working on our shoulders. Uh, so as you can imagine, we've got quite a lot of exercise to do. All you need is a barbell. If you do not have a barbell at home, then you can do this exercise with, um, with weights. Or if you've got something heavy like a bag of sorts, you can, you can hold that in and do your deadlift and your squats with the bag and your shoulder press with the bag, for example. It, all, all you need is a backpack, fill it with some heavy stuff uh, and, and make sure you can lift it and it's of, of a decent weight. And you can do this work. You do not need a barbell. In this workout, I am utilizing the barbell. So without any further ado, let us begin. Um, the reason why I'm starting with the deadlift to begin with is, uh, firstly, it's, it's the most uh, demanding exercise, essentially, as it works the entire body, really. Um, it's a bit easier since we're using a lighter weight, um, for obvious reasons. Uh, but I do want to demonstrate with you uh, the correct technique as well. Um, and I like to teach you guys the correct technique when lifting, especially when starting with light weights, because a lot of people, they like to dive straight into lifting heavy because it's a much egotistical sort of thing to do, and, and they end up injuring themselves unnecessarily. So uh, uh, technique is key, even when you're dealing with relatively light weights such as this. And so, you know, we want to be directly over the bar. We want to see our shoelaces, essentially, as we look down. Now, the bar only actually goes up. That's, that's the goal here. You're not moving the bar in front of you, or you're not, you know, you're not, once you pick it up, it's not as though you are bringing it in, inwards a lot. It's essentially a straight line up and down. Now, it's not as simple as that. The goal is to keep your body upright throughout the entire movement. That's the shape that we're looking at here. So when you're starting, I don't want you squatting too low and I don't want your bum too high either. You're essentially looking for that middle ground. And when you lift, to, to make sure you use the right posture and you, uh, you, your intention is to utilize your lats whilst you lift as well. So practice squeezing your lat muscles when, when, once you do the movements. Uh, the key thing is we don't want to round our backs. That, that's not what we're after because that's how people do their backs in. And I want you to see the movement as um, not divided into different elements. So for, what do I mean by that? So a lot of people will do the, the lift with the legs, they lift with their legs and then they end up doing their arch. Remember not to lean too back as well. That's what we want. We want to squeeze your glutes at the top of the movement like this, but you don't need to over exaggerate the movement either because you can unnecessarily do damage to your lower back as well. So bear that in mind as well. So let me show you the, the exercise in its entirety. I like to do a nice stretch as I drop. Make sure you've got good grip. Get into position, not too low, like I mentioned. Looking forward, back straight, and we're pulling the weight up our shins, and that's the movement. Nice and simple, no harm done. Let's begin. Off we go. One, two, three. Nice and controlled. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. Let's go into the Barbell squat, shoulder width apart, nice and controlled. Just looking forward whilst you do the movement and go as low as you can go. 
One, squeeze your glute at the top here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good job. Eight. Nine. Squeeze. Nice and low. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Get ready. We're doing lunges. Six each side. Obviously, uh, twelve in general. Now the key is you're going to do a step, not too large, and your back leg, knee, is going to essentially touch the ground, or just about touch. And we're going to swap legs. And when you go forward, your knee is not meant to overextend past your foot. And neither are you meant to be leaning forward either. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Good job, keep going. Nine, ten, almost there. Eleven, look up right, look forward. Twelve. Okay, now we're gonna go into bent over rows. So, bring your get hands about this width, by your side, and we're just a um, slight bend in the knee. You can do it this way around, or you can alternate your hands. But anyway, let's carry on. One, squeeze your lat. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not not resting the weights on your legs here. Ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. Nice squeeze there. We're going to go into some uh, bicep barbell curls. This is the week we're after. One. Two, three, nice and controlled. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Good job. Now straight into it. Hands don't have to be too far apart here. We're doing upright rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep going. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, shoulder press. Okay, nice and controlled. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, we're going to finish up last exercise. We're going to do some shrugs now. Okay, nice and controlled. Your arms and elbows are not doing any movement. It's just your trapezius muscles up and down. Squeeze at the top two. Squeeze at the top three, four, five, 
six, keep going, seven, eight, doesn't feel like anymore, does it? Nine, 10, 11, 12. Wow, forearms are gone as expected. Well done guys, I hope you enjoyed the workout. Remember you can do that several times over and over. You can start to increase the weight, adding more weights or taking it away, depending on how difficult you found the, the round. Um, Push yourself, challenge yourself, make sure you do a nice cool down, some dy dynamic movements to just slowly calm the body down after a great workout. Do some stretches, look after yourself and have a great day. I'll see you soon.